Oh, it's supposed to be happy, that's right. Something positive. Okay, enough of that. So, guns, checks and balances. Nobody's calling for, nobody rational is calling for complete gun control and take your guns away. But there is something, a check and balance, that's a part of the Constitution, as you know, in all of our founding documents. 97% of the population now wants a universal background check required by law everywhere in America, and we still can't get it. So I submit to you that something that has a 97% approval rating and we can't get it, that means Congress is an enemy of the people. And if that doesn't qualify for being an enemy of the people when they go against 97% of the people, then there's no such thing as an enemy of the people. So how, how do we get it? How do we get something that we want that has a 97% approval rating? Even if we're a 60 or 70%, I'd say, God, we should get it. Even if I was against it, it's like, I either believe in a representative democracy or I don't, but I do believe in a representative democracy. So here's what we can do. Google search open secrets, money in politics. And you're going to find that all these people in Congress, almost every single one of them in the current Congress, um, they're on the take of donation money, a.k.a. legal bribe money, from the NRA and gun manufacturers. So they represent them and not us. That's the only thing that could explain them going against the will of 97% of the population. It was at like 93%, which was still really high. And now it's up to 97 with the recent uh, massacres by gun violence. 97%. Of people want a universal background check. They don't want to take guns away from people. They want a universal background check and we can't get it. They won't even bring it up on the Senate floor for a hearing. So Google search open secrets, money and politics and start finding out who is and who is not on the take of donation money, AKA legal bribe money. <laughs> and then you're going to find it doesn't only translate to this issue, but look at healthcare. Look at who's against single payer Medicare for everybody. And you're going to find out every God bless one of them, is on the take of legalized bribe money from for-profit insurance companies and drug companies. And you just go down the list of issues. It doesn't matter what it is, you're gonna find the same thing. So we have to get the money out of politics. It is the only solution. You and I cannot compete with millions and billions of dollars of donation money. So since we can't compete, that's not fair. Money does not equal speech. They think it does. We have to get the money out of politics. So open secrets, Google search it, money in politics, open secrets. And you're going to see that there's at least at the time of this video, there's 51 and fast counting 51 people running this midterm for, for various House and Senate seats who openly reject all bribe money, all of it. And their goal is to amend the Constitution, the new constitutional amendment, finally, once and for all, banning private money from entering our politics so that we can have 100 percent clean elections so that we can have agreements and disagreements with people and they can be principled and they're talking to us and representing us rather than a disagreement because there's a conflict of interest. So we need to get the conflict of interest out so that we can have these agreements and disagreements and uh, be more forward moving like that. It's really important. Otherwise, we're going to continue to see things like this. Uh, there's, there's a lot of things that are actually the people, the constituents of our country, the people, we're actually pretty united. It's Congress that's divided. Um, we are on the same page on most issues in overwhelming numbers, uh, which means that we don't have a Congress that represents us. They represent their donors or their bribers. So this is the only solution that there is, is to get all the money out. Whatever rationale that you hear people talking about, whenever you're talking about, about why a politician doesn't do this or that, it's smoke and mirrors. Just forget all that stuff. It's money and politics. They're on the take. It's a conflict of interest. We have to get it out. So just replace all the rationale that you think that it is that a politician goes this way or that way. It's all BS. It's the money that they get and who it comes from. So it has to be out. Just get it out now. <laughs> and that's all I got to say in this video. Uh, oh, by the way, I'll end on this note. The NRA members, even they're on the same page with the rest or the rest of us. So it's not even it's not the card carrying members. They're an overwhelming uh, majority in favor of a universal background check and some other checks and balances. But the leadership, they're the problem. They need to be replaced, dismembered, dismantled, whatever. And and the leadership of the gun manufacturers too. So it's not the workers. It's not the card carrying members. It's the leadership of these organizations that. Um, are going uh, that are bribing our politicians to be against the will of us 97% of us that's crazy uh, all right so I'll close on that note and 
I hope this goes viral somehow so that we can get all the money out. Thank you very much. Mwah.